Hi, it's Esther at the Trucking Scribe. Today is day seven of the Deep Amarumba challenge that Louise Heinzel and Barbara with 49 Dragonflies is sponsoring this month. It's a the prompt for ephemera. So I actually wound up doing quite a few today. And I'm going to break them up into three different videos. So this is one. Today's prompt is clock and wings. So this butterfly wings. Here's the second video. That's going to be the angels and the clock. And then this one, I think it's my favorite. It's three clocks and some angels. So I hope that you enjoyed the videos and let me know what you think about them. Thank you and have a great day. Well, I have this cool thing. So probably try this one. So do I want that part or do I want Let me try it right there and see. Oh, it moved a little bit. It would help if I cut circles out a little better. It looks like a cool clock. Let me try another one. Let me get up here. So you could do your better uh, your angel wings and do it like this. You just cut your circles. I'll get you a circle and trace it and then just go around like that. I have some of these. I like the gold. I think I'll do one in gold and maybe one in this color. So I'm using my big crocodile to reach that center. And I want the smaller one, so one eighth. And if you see right there is where it punches the hole. I'm just going to try and center it I think it's going to be right but we'll try it and then I'm thinking we can do the red might look good on it So what I'm thinking, I might as well go ahead and do this one. I could layer on that. Like that. Actually, I'd like these first. I need to Let's keep it. So let me see. Maybe a little bit longer one, maybe right here. See, I'm just cutting off a triangle. I'm not very good at. I'll have a crooked clock here. This one needs a little more on that end. What I'm going to do is go ahead and 
Make enough for another clock. Put one there. You know what? My clock is so crooked. Oh well. I'll keep trying to straighten it and it's going to go down to nothing. Alright. So I am going to use this to cut these little things because I can't And it's basically the same thing. It just you put it in there and it cuts the holes for you. So where'd it go? And one long one and one short one. Yeah, the problem's going to be for me to get all these lined up just right. <laughs> because I'm not good at that. There we go, I think. Maybe. Not quite. So, what I want to do is push that down. Yeah. Okay. So I think I can do because I like my bling. You know, I like my bling. And if I did that, I'm going to do like 12, 6, 3, and 9. I'm going to do those with the big ones. And I can do one, two, four, five. I think those are going to go a little bit further. Five, six, seven. You know, this clock is made without all the technology of perfection, so you just go in with it. I like it though. And I'm thinking, I wonder if that would look better with the um, silver instead of that one I got in the I get lucky and be able to just pop it in and out without any problem. No. What was I thinking? I'm probably moving on my
to be real me, you know, I might be able to do it. There's that crooked curtain again. So all I'm going to do is put some glue right there and take it away the shiny side down just to get it some more color. I think y'all moved on me. Yeah, you did. Since I have the one in the bowl, I think I'm going to add some more to it. So it looks cute. I don't know where I'm going to put it on. So I'm using the envelope that's the same size as my journal. So this is the envelope that I used as a thing to sit this down. So right here. I'm just hoping this up, trying to see what I can make out of it. Maybe like this. I'm liking the crumples look better. Hold that down with some fabric tack. I'm just going to go right now just in the middle. So I'm wanting this to be like a circle. And since you can kind of form when they're full, it helps make this circle that I'm going for. I think. This is just so thick.
do you want that? Now if you can if you can, I want to see a little bit. Knock off some of the shiny. I realize I should probably wait till the glue dries off. Which way is my top? I think it's this way. So see now as this dries, if it's glued, you yeah, know, I've got some glue and put some more. Some lace would look good too. Let's see what else I got in this box. Over here, I've got quite a few of these things. I could put a piece in them. I'd rather have red. So now I want this on there. I may put it under because that's so much dimension already. And I'll just pull out some, see how I can kind of have this that can go up here. I'm going to take this away and kind of ruffle it in there. I have this brown too, but it might look good somewhere. I don't know. I was not expecting to make this much when I came in here.
I can need a little balance somewhere. Of that, I do have a green that might look okay. Maybe right there, so I'm going to take this out. And I'm going to put I have a little red I can stick under here and just bring in a touch of that color. Is that too much? I'm going to do like that, like that. Let me see if I can. That is how I'm kind of ratty looking. I'll put some of this in there. Now that one could go right up there all by itself. I'm going to leave that much there. Let's see. We come down with the main part of that so yeah, we can glue this on. So I'm going to put quite a bit of glue because of the liniment fall. That way it has more surface to catch on. So, yeah. I hope that you've enjoyed the video today. I'm not sure which one of the three I'm going to put. Well, I'm going to put this closing in all three, I think. That way you can see them all and, and know that there's other videos. I'm going to do one of this one with the clock, one of this one, and one of this one. And because it's just so long, I decided I'm going to cut them down. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you and have a great day.